Hey, Coach, so Wednesday practice is now done. You guys are getting closer and closer every day to another away game on the road against Texas Tech. How do you feel about practices so far this week and preparations for that game? Uh, you know, practice, you know, not up to our standards always, but uh, we just got to continue to get better. You know, uh, we have to deal with some adversity. Uh, we lost a player, he went down. The other guys has to play new spots. So uh, my job as the coach is to make sure, you know, uh, when things go down, you lose a player. That, that the guys are ready who, who are his backups and they can go in and we don't lose a beat. So um, we just got to continue to, to keep grinding, uh, keep chopping wood, and uh, still got two more days to go. And uh, hopefully uh, everybody's on the same page and we'll go to Lubbock and see if we can still go on the road. I saw you just mentioned the player that went uh, down for a second. Um, I know the injury regard related to the hand. Anything that you could tell us about the length of time for the no, injury? I, don't I, I think he's fine. Okay. I just think it was just a matter of just getting his maybe finger jammed up or something like that. But he'll be fine. Uh, Got to go. Yeah. Um, but I don't look, you know, I don't look for anything being serious, you know, but I'm not the doctor and things like that. But uh, I just got to make sure I get all the guys prepared they, that when they do go in, they know what they got. They're in the right spot and they able to go out there and make some plays. First, you're going to make in plays in uh, the Texas State game. Obviously, a lot of the receiving core is forced to make plays during that game after the running game kind of had been stalwart a little bit. How do you think uh, the wide receivers played in that game? Anything that you would take away that's positive from that game? And then I'll probably ask yeah, you about that. Yeah, we're always going to take things positive. I mean, like I said, I mean, we're ascending. We're, 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 we're trending in the right direction, which I want us to be. Uh, I still felt like we left some plays out on the football field, but uh, that's why you continue to practice and keep you know working on your craft and getting better. Uh, we missed some shots in the Mississippi State game. Uh, we connected on some shots in, in, in Texas State. So hopefully this week uh, we'll continue to connect some more on some shots. So uh, it's just a matter of just keep chopping wood, keep grinding at it, and, and continue to get on the same page. I think once we get a rapport with Sam and all the wide receivers, um, we're, we're, we're trending in the right direction. How do you think that process goes, uh, building that rapport and the chemistry? A lot of the, especially deep balls early in the season, had been disconnected probably just a little bit too short or too long at points. How do you, as somebody that played in the NFL, how do you build that rapport with the quarterback over time? Just keep working. Uh, that's all I know how to do. Just keep putting your head down, keep grinding, keep working at it until you get it right. You know, um, you know whatever reason, we, we haven't connected on the opportunities, but all you can do is just keep working, uh, keep getting better, and, and coming out here and chopping wood. And hopefully on, on Saturdays when, when the games matter, uh, we connect for some big plays and give us some uh, explosive plays for offense. Obviously, you guys were down a decent chunk in the beginning of that game against Texas State, but came back, do some good resilience, big plays from your receivers. Jordan Tyson had a, had a big catch uh, yeah. to get the touchdown. Uh, what do you make of the resilience of the wide receiver core and the team as a whole? You know, I just think I learned a lot about our guys because, you know, you know, of course, of the season, you're going to hit some adversity. It was our first road game on a short week. Uh, going on the road, hostile territory, it was a great environment. Uh, we jumped out, scored on our first drive. They responded, and then they jumped out on us early. You learn a lot about your players. Uh, you know, uh, Some guys kind of put their head down, or some guys are saying, you know what, we're going to be fine. So what I saw was a bunch of resilient guys that didn't didn't have bad body language, didn't put their head down or, or do things. They rose to the occasion to say, hey, we'll just keep playing. And then if you do continue to keep playing, uh, the ball bounced our way. We, we made some plays, and uh, we found a way to pull it out at the end. And uh, that's just uh, uh, a prime example of a resilient team coming together, playing together, playing for one another, and I think we displayed that. What do you tell your guys? I mean, the players have spoken about you, and they have a lot of respect for you and everything you've done um, throughout your course of your career. What do you tell your players when you're down like that and trying to help them through that like adversity? Obviously, they were able to pull through, but anything that you say in particular? Well, you can't get it all back in one play. You just got to focus on the next play. You know, just keep focus and the detail. Uh, just go play by play. Um, and I thought we did that. You know, when our number was called, we made a routine plays. We made some some plays that got us back in the ball game. And then, you know, it's like a heavyweight boxing match, right? You, they throw blows, you throw blows. You got to just keep going back and forth. And um, we found a way to, to stand tall at the end. So I uh, found a lot out about our guys, the character in them, uh, the fighters. The, they fight to the very end. Uh, they don't blink in the face of adversity. And uh, that's, a, that's a good characteristic that I want to have in our room. So we'll just continue to build on that and, and grow from that. In preparation for Texas Tech, what are the things that you've taken away from them so far in terms of what you've seen in terms of scheme and how you might have to play against uh, them? Every game's a big game. 
you know, each week's a challenge. They got some, some great players. They're, they're coached by a phenomenal coach. So it's a matter of just us going out there and executing our play. You know, I always tell the guys, it's really, it really is not about the other team. It's all about us. You know, we execute, we get in the right uh, spot that we need to be in, and when we be great at the routine plays, well, then we'll find ourselves giving ourselves a chance to win this ball game. How do you feel about the excitement amongst yourself, the coaching staff, and the players being 3 0 to start the year, having the first in conference opponent uh, in a new conference? Listen, a, lot of, a lot of stuff going on with you. It's guys. great to be 3 0, but, you know, we just, the next game, it's always the next game. It's, it's the mentality that I have. Uh, I'm proud of our guys, but we still got a lot of work to do. We haven't even scratched the surface of how good we really can be, you know, and it just starts with preparation. So I'm always hard on them uh, throughout the week because I try to stress and, and try to simulate as much game experience I can during the week. Uh, so Saturdays are easy. So, uh, you know, it's just a matter of putting in the hard work uh, week in and week out and continue to, to get better and keep grinding. And hopefully by the end of the year, we'll be where we want to be at. All right, thank you, Coach. Okay.